Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Simple Colors Bite Me and I'm going to stamp a witch on a couple of fingers. I started off with Danny Digit's Glitter Be Gone and here is Simple Colors Bite Me and this is a limited edition Halloween polish. I got mine at Walgreens. I don't know where else you could find it. I wasn't looking for it anywhere else and I'm going to go in with the first coat and I am only doing this manicure today on my shorter nails. I've um, got so many Halloween ideas and I want to be sure I have enough time to get all of them in so and I'm being sure to cap that free edge so I might be doing a few videos where it's just you know on one hand or the other and here we go with our second coat and this is starting to really build up and look just gorgeous I love this polish I think it's just really unique and it's showing up a lot more coppery on camera than in real life but you know it's it's just an unusual polish so here we go with our third and final coat and I might could have gotten away with just the two coats but I, I really wanted that to be as opaque and built up as I could get it without it being thick on the nail so we're going to go in and finish this third coat up. And there we go. Going to have to break out Woody and do a little bit of scraping. <laughs> I did make a tiny bit of a mess. Not too bad. But there it is. And now we're going to add some posh top coat to this one. And it just brings it to life. It just makes it so glossy and shiny and just I love it I just I'm so in love with this one and that's really saying something for a drugstore polish to get me like that it has got me love it so pretty I'm gonna be stamping with Nicole diary NS01 my bundle monster monocle stamper I'm gonna use my clear jelly scraper and BMS 203 stamping plate and I'm going for this little witch that's flying up in this little circle. There's a cat and some other little, you know, swirly, twirly whatevers. But we're just going to try to get what we can on the nail. And I'm going to be trying to make sure I get the witch on my ring finger and my middle finger. We're just going to plop that one down. We'll tap it to make sure everything's sticking good. Yells. Gonna clean that stamper off on my lint roller real quick, and the plate's gonna get cleaned with some pure acetone. And we're gonna repeat this process for my middle finger. Just wanted to kind of keep it simple on this one today. Um, I'm filming this on a work day, so you know I had to work all day and had a late meeting, and <laughs> so I didn't have as much playtime tonight. So I'm trying to keep it simple. We're going to clean up with some tape here real quick just to get whatever we can up. Um, white polish just kind of smears around and makes my fingers look chalky. So I always try, especially on white polish, to get up as much as I can before having to go in with my cleanup brush. And here we go. got my little dampen dish with some pure acetone and my Sonia Kushak's Tools number 27 cleanup brush. It is not a cleanup brush, but that's what I use it for. It is my favorite one. <laughs> there we go. Not too, not too bad here. We got easy peasy because of the tape. And there we go. I gotta get up under there because I do make quite a mess when I stamp sometimes. There we go. All right, the cleanup is done. We're going to top this one off with some posh top coat. And I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't stay blurry. There we go. And I did get the little witch. She's not centered, but that's okay. I, I wasn't expecting her to be centered. I just wanted her own there. And I'm trying to float that top coat over. And when I talk about floating a top coat, I mean using a generous amount of top coat so that the brush doesn't touch through the top coat and smear across your design because it will smear it and I have I still smear it 
I know how to do this and I still do it. So it takes a little practice. I keep reloading my brush to make sure that it's definitely got enough on there and I'm not dragging them bristles across my design. I'm gonna do a little bit more cleanup with Woody. Just a little bit, just to make sure. Ta-da! And that is my manicure. I would love to hear what you think about this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. So here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.